The next authoring environment I want to show is the dashboard editor. And to get there, I select Create New Dashboard. We start again by selecting New Data. And we've got a data object here uh, called uh, Classic Models that I'll add to my dashboard. So I get a list of tables here. I've got a customer table, I've got a product table, some sales metrics table as well. Uh, also behind here, I've got some gadgets. So there are different charts and heat maps I can add uh, to the dashboard. Uh, there are different tables, uh, data selectors, reports, and part of reports, KPIs, and other DAT gadgets as well. Uh, but the dashboard authoring environment makes it easy to start creating visualizations. <clears throat> I can simply drag a data field, like say profit, onto the dashboard and smart visualizations will decide based on the data type and inspection of the data itself how to best visualize that data. So in this case as a histogram chart. If I bring another field in, say product line, and I drag it onto the exact same chart, the chart changes to become a column chart to in this case to best represent profit by product line. If I drag another field, let's go to my orders and take the order date and pull it onto the same report. I can now see profit both by the both product line and year uh, as a heat map. All right, for some formatting, we can hide the container title. And we'll show the chart title. There's something called the automatic chart title. So if I turn this on, it'll automatically turn into profit by product line by order date uh, based on the, the fields that it's uh, been using. So we'll bring this up to a larger uh, font as well. Now continue building my uh, dashboard. I'll drag the customers table and I'll simply drag it onto the dashboard. So I'll drag it below my uh, heat map here and make it a little bit larger. This container I'll just rename to customer list. So let's add a data selector. If I go back to my gadgets here, uh, data selectors uh, provide the user's ability to filter a dashboard uh, based on their selection. So they come in forms of, uh, in this case, you'll see a list box here, a combo box, a check boxes, radio buttons, sliders, and lots more as well. So we're going to start by dragging a list box uh, onto our dashboard. We'll drag it up top here. And I need to select the data column uh, it's telling me here, so I'll select country. And now as I filter any element within the dashboard, so I'll select, say, Australia, and we'll notice that every element within the dashboard that's also tied to that same data object will also filter down. So I select Australia, and it brings me only the profit uh, heat map byte for Australia, and only the customer list uh, down here for Australia as well, to reflect our choice. So I can see multiple items in the list. So if I select, say, Australia, down to USA, all of them selected or none of them selected is the same thing. It simply selects everybody again. We can change the type, so I'll go in here and change it, say, to a checkbox. And now I can uh, more easily see uh, all the countries selected. And whatever check, whatever setting I leave it at this point right here, if I leave these checked on or off and save the uh, state of this dashboard, this is the, st the state that the user will see it for the first time. All right, some other things I can do, I can apply a theme to this entire dashboard. So we'll go ahead and add an open text uh, light theme. And here I get to make a choice. I can decide whether I want to apply the theme, but preserve any custom formatting I've made, or simply override and apply the theme in, uh, globally to everything. So I'll just leave any custom formatting I've, I've changed uh, here and apply everything else to, to adopt the theme. So in this case, we got our nice open text light uh, blue theme. All right, so now let's rename our, our tab. Let's call this uh, first one Profit. And we'll create a new tab and we'll call this new tab spend. All right, on this tab, we're gonna add our report gadgets. So if I go over to the left side here to the gadgets, I've got a report and a report let. Again, a report is I can add an entire report and a report let is I can add a portion of a report, just a chart or just a table. So just a piece of report. So we're gonna add an entire report and we'll go select the uh, report we created earlier called spend report. and size this as I like it. And now let's go save and preview this report. So we'll save this. We'll call this our um, new spend dashboard. And we'll preview the dashboard how the user will see it. So here's the dashboard. It is quite interactive as well. We can go back to the profit 
tab here, and uh, we will walk through more on how the user will interact with this dashboard in the video consuming BI.